So um, I just wanted to do a little video on how I use my stair tool here without killing the baseboards. You see a lot of people talking about they use different things and and uh, and uh, whatnot just so that they don't uh, damage the baseboards and stuff like that. So I want to get a look at the baseboards because they are not freshly painted. They're not new and stuff. So there is, you know, already marks there before we even get done before we even get started. So I just want you to be aware of that. And um, that way, if you see them after the, after I'm done packing, you won't think that, you won't think that I've done that. So let me trim this down here a little bit in the way what we're gonna stretch. So whenever I use my packer, I don't want to bring back and chop in that way. This baseboard, I don't know if you noticed it not a while ago, but this baseboard's got them little lips all the way down there, there, and then there's one right down there at the bottom too, which this is the one that you usually see all chewed up from people packing aggressively. So I just want to show how I get by with using my stereo. <coughs> without chopping the baseboards all up. So if you've ever seen my videos, you always see me, I will use my packer like this. Most of the time I don't use it like that, which is okay, you can use it like that. I do sometimes, but most of the time it's either like this or like this. And that then, with that being said, this is the reason why. I don't use my packer flat like that. I don't use it, I don't want this whole thing to uh, touch the baseboard at one time. I want it to hit at an angle like that. So, see that? And also, if you can see right there behind it, I always have my stair tool at a little bit of an angle out that way. I never have it flat. If you have it flat, even if you, even if you do it like this, see? It's gonna catch those lips and stuff, okay? If I'm just using one side of it, and it's angled away here, it's just gonna slide up and down it. See that? And another thing, I never let my packer, stair tool, whatever you call it, I call it a packer most of the time, because I pack carpet with it. Anyway, um, I never let it leave the baseboard. My back corner stays against the base the whole time. touch up that's how I clean it up there so see as I'm just normally packing see how it's positioned that's just a regular normal the way I pack when I get to the corner then I'll lean it up the other way now notice here Ben's I'm using my opposite corner I do have it angled out right here now so pretty much the only time I will use the whole thing is whenever I'm coming back like that. Then I'm just doing little short, little short easy easy taps on it just to make it look pretty up next to the edge. One other thing I like to do a lot too, you'll probably notice it in some, some of my videos. You'll see me do this. Well, what what that does, if there is any fuzzies or anything sticking up, notice this carpet is laying down that way and it's standing up that way so uh, you can rake it that's what I call it raking it just put your corner right right in the crack there and then do it the way that the carpet is laying down it'll push all those little fibers and stuff in there that's sticking up from uh, you know just for being cut and packed in there and uh, makes it look gives a nice clean finished edge so uh, let me get just a couple stretches right quick and we'll do this other wall and I'll show you once more just, just on a random, you know, not even for the video, but that's just how I, how I pack all the time. Yeah. 
my viewers to keep that in mind. Stuff that I do in my videos, I don't do it just for the sake of the videos. That's actually, if I don't do it on a regular basis, I don't make a video of doing it. What I, what I make videos is doing is what I do regularly, okay? I don't do stuff out of the ordinary or out of the way just to make the video. So all of my stuff is authentic. It's the way that I work all the time. Oops, sorry about that, Jerry. So again, so again, see, I'm just the corner, and it's away right there. I'm not holding it flat, and I'm not bringing my stair tool away like that, or even like that, because that's going to hit a lip right there. So. without damaging it uh, it makes it easier than the plastic ones or the uh, other little knives or, or whatever some people use hook bills and stuff like that this has got some meat to it it's got a little bit of weight um, it's nice and rounded on the edges it's not sharp and pointy which it, now Jerry's is newer than mine so his is kind of pointy but he, he uses it pretty much the same way I do we don't have issues with chopping up the baseboard and stuff like that I think the key thing is that we don't bring our packer off of the base. We constantly just slide it up and down the base like that. So I think that's the key thing about not damaging the baseboards is just not removing it from it whenever you're tucking. So maybe that'll help somebody.